little nervous, a little excited. What's up, Team Nation? We are here in Surigao City in the Philippines, and today, we're trying Jollibee. We've waited so long to do this. We could have had it three times now in Vietnam and multiple times in the Philippines, but we waited till the end so that we could try everything because we needed to be super hungry and we're about to eat every single menu item at Jollibee and tell you <laughs> what they taste like in comparison to what we're used to in America. Yeah. And this is Jollibee we're going to. It's really funny because I also own Greenwich and the Asian store right next to it. This is all owned by Jollibee. So one of the reasons why we're really excited to try Jollibee, and honestly, is because since we've been here in Asia, every time we've gone to like a fast food restaurant, it's either been KFC or McDonald's. And for a long time, at least during our China trip, I was sick and the only thing I felt comfortable eating was McDonald's. It was a real bummer because like, if we could be, if it could have been anything, we wish it would have been like something Asian, not like McDonald's from America. So we're kind of excited just to try something different. So we made it inside Jollibee. We found a table first because it's super chaotic in here. We were a little overwhelmed by all the things going on. We're taking a time to look at the entire menu so we don't miss anything. That was nuts. We were like packed in there like animals. And everybody's like really polite. But you know, it's like you're fighting for your spot. Like try not to lose it. And you finally get up there. And I like immediately went to play. But I was prepared to like wrote everything down. <laughs> There's like a lot of combos you can get. I don't know. We have the Jolly Spaghetti, the Cheesy Yum Burger, the two piece chicken with rice, a tuna pie, gravy to go along with the chicken, and two iced teas. Southern sweet tea with a little bit of lemon. Very refreshing. Now we're used to the South East Asia. First, we're trying the cheesy yum burger. Just a basic patty with cheese. A really good bun. And they add this like really sweet, kind of like a ketchup mayo. It kind of tastes like Miracle Whip, but it's got like a mild tomato flavor too. I don't know. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm trying the half eaten yum burger. Leah really enjoyed it, so it's half gone. And actually, the name of Jolly Bee used to be Jolly Bee Yum Burger after this burger. So I'm very sad and actually taking it. Yeah, it's really funny. It tastes just like the burgers my grandmother in Minnesota used to make. Like you said, it's Miracle Whip and the burger patty and the sweet bun. Everything's really sugary. Tastes just like my grandmother's hamburger. So we have the spaghetti and we got this, is it super spaghetti? And it comes with hot dogs and some cheese on there. It's very interesting because this would not be a thing in America. It just would not be on McDonald's menu because spaghetti is eaten. Not a bad sort of I have no idea what this tastes like. Supposedly it has banana in the sauce. Is it sweet? No, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I thought the sweetness would be the same as the Yum Burger, but it is not. It actually came with the Yum Burger as a combo, burger and the spaghetti, but I, don't, I, can't, I have no idea what it tastes like. I think it's pretty sweet. And it kind of has like a chili aspect to it. I know like Philippines is famous for like the jobo. So maybe it kind of tastes like that. It doesn't really have a tomatoey flavor. It more tastes like like a pepper sauce. What I really love about this whole trip to Asia is that I've got Zach turned on to rice. He used to hate rice, now he loves rice. And we just love how they like come in these little packages. It's like a rice patty. <laughs> Might be the best thing I've had all day. It's like rice. So we mentioned this before, but fried chicken in the Philippines is always served with gravy, which is just something we're not very familiar with unless you were like in a southern kitchen somewhere getting fried chicken. Too. The chicken is really good. It's moist. The 
super peppery. It tastes like homemade. And Leah always says the best piece of chicken for me. So thank you. It's a good chicken. The meat is like some of the best we've ever had in Asia. The chicken is amazing. And the breading is super light, not as thick as I thought it would be. Okay, so now we're trying this tuna pie. However, everything in this packaging in America comes really, really sweet. So it's interesting to have something savory and pie for. <laughs> steak, maybe some ice cream, but I don't even think that's possible at this point. We had so much food. I think my favorite thing was the classic yum burger because it's like the signature dish you get here and it was sweet and savory and like gooey. I really like the fried chicken. I think it was perfect on its own. The gravy was a nice touch, but I don't think it even needed it. It was perfect, really good fried chicken. Okay, I lied. We did get round two. I got some fries. These are without a doubt the best fries I've had in Asia. We've been here for three months. I've tried many different kinds. These are really, really good. Now time for the smallest pie I've ever seen. It tastes like soup. What? How? Not as fruity peachy as I thought, but more of like the scent. Like the scent of soap. Hmm. It's really exciting because I love peach pie. It's probably my favorite kind. And then mango pie, I've never even heard of. Zach is crazy. This tastes exactly like a peach pie with mango in it. Really, really good. I wish we could get these back home. Round two. What'd you get? The ch oh, what is that? Okay, we have chicken, we have rice, and is this beef steak? Yes. And then... More chicken! I'm trying this... I don't even know what it's called. Do you know what it's called? It's called a burger steak. You burger steak? Yeah. It's hot. It's actually really good. It reminds me of... Lunches back in elementary school when I was in like second grade <laughs> it tasted just like this. What did you order? And finally for dessert we got like a chocolate shake. It's got ice cream on the top and oh it's like drinking Hershey syrup. It's so thick. I bet you're in heaven. Well, this is what I've been looking for. I really want to slice a cake for like the past month and this is basically that. If you couldn't already figure this out, Zach is pretty much addicted to sweets. He loves cookies, brownies, cakes, anything he gets his hands on. And while we've been here in Asia, what he's been relying on the most is ice cream. Whether it be McDonald's or like anywhere we can get it. So like he must be in heaven right now. It's more like a drink than a shake. And it kind of tastes like chocolate pudding with ice cream. That in there was crazy. It's two o'clock on election day, which might be why it's all ridiculous right now. It's a Monday, everything's open, but for some reason everyone's here. Jollibee. Jollibee is the place to be. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. We went to Jollibee, we ate everything, literally everything. Yep. There was not a menu item that was available that we did not <laughs> try. I hope you enjoyed it. The Philippines version of McDonald's was pretty good. It was 